Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Hope you are enjoying your weekend and found some time to craft. Uh, I wanted to share with you a couple of cards I've been making and a project that I had been struggling with that is uh, now completed. And it was all kind of based on the inspiration, this card that you're looking at. Um, I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit for you. Okay. Um, not a lot of people know, but I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, kind of a hobby type demonstrator. I'm my own best customer recently. Um, but I did get in um, some new products that I had ordered from the new catalog. And if you haven't yet to see the new catalog and you'd like one, um, drop me an email. But they, they do have a lot of very interesting products. And I'm always challenged when I get a new stamp set, whether it's from Stampin' Up! or wherever else, to try and use all the stamps in the set. So this was one that I had selected. It's called Elements of Style. It had a lot of really kind of nice vintage images on it. The hummingbird, flowers, this, you know, a sentiment. So I wanted to use, you know, as many of the stamps that I could. So I created this card. Um, also, I wanted to try out some new colors. So this was made because I had this scrap of chocolate chip cardstock that was actually 5x11. So I just made a 5x5 five five card. Um, the background here, this stamp, is, uh, is the flowers from Element of Style. And it's the new ink color, which is called uh, Crumb Cake. And I have to tell you, I wasn't, you know, I loved craft cardstock when it was that color, but I was a bit concerned if I would really utilize a light tan, but I really, I love that color. Um, the hummingbird is um, in Marina Mist, which is a new color, as is life is a matter of moments. It's hard to see, but a crumb cake kind of edged this. Um, I had some Prima Flowers, an old designer button, and then, you know, I love to put the uh, twine behind my flowers, just as an extra element. And the stick pin, um, if you watched my last tutorial or video about um, creating flowers from border punches, this was an inspiration from um, Arlene, who is my Butterfly Kisses 12 on YouTube. She had taken some corsage pins and some beads, and uh, thanks Arlene, now I'm addicted, and some glossy accents, and just, you know, made a pattern, stuck them together. You could color the top of the pearl with um, your Copic marker, but it's just a really nice touch, and it's one I've been using a lot. Um, this was the first card I made using the stamp set, I'm just going to kind of... And then, you know, how you improve upon things. I, I like them both, actually. The background is uh, on the card here. It's hard to see. Is that floral pattern. And that's uh, in Cherry Cobbler ink. Again, a scrap of paper. I think this is old Riding Hood red paper. Um, the Hummingbird is in Cherry Cobbler. The Baroque kind of swirls on the right. Are, it's actually a very dark brown. It's called Early Espresso, like a brown black, as is the sentiment, life is a matter of moments. And then I had some red prima flowers and a little black button. And, and there you go. There's two cards. So I am attending a wedding reception, and um, it's for a, a friend of ours next, uh, next Saturday. And it, well, it's a kind of friend that, you know, where it's an associate, and, and I don't know them very well. Um, but they are diehard Flyers fans. The imitation was even black, white, and orange, which is the colors of the Philadelphia Flyers hockey team. So I was trying to come up with a gift, something to make for them. And I decided that... Um, 
it's very hard to work on these three colors and not have it be Halloween but I decided to make some thank you notes so the components of the thank you notes are just a little note card and this is four inches by five and a half so four inches wide by five and a half uh, cut and scored. So what I did was I took that same uh, stamp, which is um, Elements of Style, and I really like the floral pattern. This is Tangerine Tango ink, and I went over the back and pulled it in half. Then I only had some Dusty Durango in orange, so I did the Hummingbird. And then, um, <clears throat> quite honestly, tried to make flowers a whole lot of different ways and really wasn't pleased with how they were coming out. I, I tried a bunch of stuff. I didn't have enough orange primas. <clears throat> Pardon me. So first I had, you know, the, the oval punch. You know, I was going to back it and I was going to do the card this way. And have a flower there but then I didn't have the right size flower so what I wound up doing is I have a hand punch that is a five petal flower I uh, have a um, roller type stamp or wheel type stamp that's kind of this swirly pattern and I went for a black archival ink and um, I just wheeled the entire sheet and then I punched out I made a total of 20 note cards. So I, I punched out 40 flowers. And um, I had found this orange and white gingham ribbon at, at Big Lots for a dollar a spool. So that is just, you know, my normal style of behind my flowers, you know, like this. But it's ribbon. And then the center, I wanted to tell you guys about this. Because, you know, it gets expensive, our hobby. So I'm always looking for different ways to repurpose things. So while I was at Big Lots, I found these. You know those raindrop things? Well, these were $1.50 a, a, a piece. And the center, you know, this they had three different sizes on the page. So the, cent, the largest raindrop in black kind of looked like it could be a flower center to me. So two packs of those. And then I had centers for my flowers. My next problem was the envelopes. You know, you can't really give a bride, uh, you know, thank you cards and not give her envelopes. I happen to love the, uh, the ones that Stampin' Up! sells, but I was out of them. So I went to Staples. And um, I considered making them, but, you know, it's just, I, didn't, I couldn't find the right scoreboard. I didn't want to figure out the me measurements. It was, like, just too aggravating. Um, so I went to Staples. They didn't have anything um, in this size. That, well, let me restate that. They did, but it was in craft. And that just won't work. So, Big Lots, in their little wedding party section had these type of RSVP cards for a wedding that were the exact size that I needed. And it was 24 cards in a pack with envelopes for $2.50. So that's how I got my envelopes. You know, the printed stock I really didn't need, so I threw it away. So there's a good tip for you. Um, you know, those mini envelopes that are like 3 by 3 cost you quite a bit. So for about 10 bucks. I'm back in the envelopes. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Thanks for watching, and I hope you get to do something creative today. Take care.